Hi friends, today through this video blog I am going to talk to you about a common problem called as an anal fistula. This is a very common problem but a lot of them because they do not have a good awareness about it, they suffer a lot in their day to day activities. So anal fistula mainly occurs secondary to a infection surrounding the anal canal. Any infection which is present either it subsides on its own or with some antibiotics. But 50% of the individuals would go on to develop an anal fistula. So anal fistula is nothing but an abnormal communication between the either the rectum or the anal canal to the skin. So the common symptoms which one would have is a anal itching or there is a fluid discharge which is coming either a serious discharge or it could be even a pus kind of a discharge which is coming. Rarely it will be associated with little bleeding. Pain can be present when there is an infection or active pus which is present in the perianal region. So once you have these problems, you should visit a surgeon and get yourself diagnosed. The surgeon will do a local examination and also do a per rectal examination, do a proctoscopic examination if required to identify the location of the fistula and the extent to which it is present. Once we are sure that the fistula is present, the second thing we would do is do a sigmoidoscopy which is nothing but a small tube with a camera at the tip. We pass it through the anal canal and have a look at the entire large intestine to make sure that you do not have any growth or any abnormal ulcerations which are the common causes for a recurrent fistula. And if these problems are not sorted out, then we would advise a surgery for you. So in surgery, we have a lot of advancements and now even a variation of laparoscopic surgery called as a waft with a special instrument is done to make sure that the fistula can be completely cured. I hope this video blog was useful for you. If you have any other doubts, you can contact me at Ashwin Hospital. Thank you very much.